All right, guys, opening up the question on the iPad. Oh no, Siri, no. Okay, I gotta flip my iPad around. Okay, here we go, guys. It says, hey, Nikki, my best friend is going through a lot in her life, that she, so much so that she started cutting. She doesn't trust anyone but me, so I'm the only one that knows. I'm the only one that could help her. I never asked her the reason she's cutting. I just don't want to put too much pressure on her. I have seen a lot change about her. I want to help her, but I'm worried it would only make her worse. Any advice on what to do or say to help her? All right, so just so you guys know, I mean, I think you all know this. Shayna actually picks the questions for the videos. This sounds very familiar, but I also know cutting is a problem that runs rampant. So I'm not sure if I've answered this question before or a question similar to this, but I will say with anything that any friends that you know of are causing physical harm to themselves, whether bulimia, cutting, um, just physical things, severe drug use, uh, all those things you need to bring to the attention of an adult because at that point we're dealing with like life and death safety issues. So I know your friend trusts you, but that is like cutting is a very, very, very serious thing. So you need to go to an adult. So whether it is her parents or it is a counselor at school or something like that, you need to get the ball moving because something is not okay here. Either her parents need to know so they can fix what's going on here or a counselor. And if a counselor gets involved, a lot of times things can kind of move forward and go through the chain of like, I don't want to say chain of command, but chain of like, okay, do we have a situation with crappy parents here? Like, cause that's another issue. Like things just need to be moving forward towards resolving and you need to go to an adult. So, um, I feel like that's a very short answer to a complex kind of question, but I feel like it's also like the only answer, like you have to go to an adult. Um, and your friend might get mad at you. I don't even know if your friend really needs to know that like it was you that told on her. I mean, she might automatically know if you are legitimately the only person that knows. But um, I don't even I don't even know if I really believe that you would be the only person. But if you are, and then she knows it's you because you were the only one that knows, Yes, your friendship might be altered, but you have to care more about her as a person than the fun that you get out of the friendship or whatever type of fulfillment you get out of this friendship because her life is now at stake. So if she doesn't want to be friends with you anymore after that or she's angry at you, all you need to say to her is, look, I'm really sorry that I betrayed your trust, but I care so much about your life and you being well that I needed to go to an adult because I'm very, very concerned for you. So if you don't wanna be my friend anymore, I understand, but I stand by the decision that I made because I care first and foremost about you and your life. So something to that effect. Um, so yeah, good luck with that. That is hard. So the Twitter question says, are you going to be at VidCon this year? So I'm still figuring that out. That's actually probably something today I'm gonna to wrap up, but like 99.999% sure that that is a affirmative, sir. Uh, I really, really, I would be shocked if I don't go to VidCon. I, I, it's like very close to my house. I really want to go and I love it. So that is it. I will see you all next time. Hope you are having a great day, a great week. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.